Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Volkswagen bus. It was a gift from my friend Steve Wilson, so thank you very much Steve. And this is my entry for the Three Blind Mice Fantastic Invitational. I was gonna go for a very flashy paint job, you know with candy colors, uh, but then I was doing some research on the internet and I found this picture. So I'll be making the snow tracks from scratch and I also will be making a small quick diorama. Caustic soda for a bit of a special effects. And then paint stripper because the caustic soda didn't do much. I need to remove part of the side panels so I can accommodate the new snow tracks. I've had to modify the chassis so I can put the new axles as well. For the wheels, I'm gonna use lighter wheels and cotton boots. Because the axle is longer, I made some spaces. I'm gonna use some styrene to encase and secure the axles on the front and back wheels. Front and back are done and now I need to make the track and for that I'm just gonna use a piece of leather. For the links, I'm just gonna use strips of rubber that I cut off from an old phone case. The 
The first link is three times the size of the others, so I can join both ends. After the glue is dry, I will be trimming them all to the same size and joining both ends. And this is one I made earlier. And it works. This is the part that holds the wheel and the fleeing tunnel lighter. I'm using part of the shaft to hold the two middle axles. Because I'm also making a diorama, I'm gonna do a bit of weathering. In the picture, the van didn't have the logo, so I'm gonna remove it, because uh, in a strange way, it looks kinda cool. And then I'll be adding some roost. I'm using some metal studs that I use for my leather work and I'm gonna make some fog lights. I'm using some rhinestones that I got from the pound shop. The different sizes so you can't go wrong for a pound. I want to make the roof a bit more realistic, so I'm gonna use some masking tape that will give you a different texture when it's painted over.
And now, let's have some fun making the diorama. And for that, I'm just using a bit of a polystyrene. It's just no diorama, so I guess I could leave it like this, but let's do it properly. <laughs> I'm using different shades of brown for the base coat. Here I'm just gonna use some PVA glue with a bit of water to add my flock. To finish it off, I'm gonna use some herbs. They look like little leaves and twigs. Now it's time for the snow. And I don't want it to be completely white. I want it to look like the snow is already melting. This way, you'll have white and dark patches and that will give more contrast and realism to the scene. And for the snow, I'm gonna use plain flour. Once I'm happy with the result, I'll be fixing everything with dilute PVA glue. And this is what it looks like. And now that I've had some fun, it's time to paint the van. The first coat is brown because I'm gonna make a roost effect.
I'm going for turquoise as the main color. The roof and the bumpers are gonna be white. Also, I think it's time to clean my airbrush. The interior is going to be grey. I'm wet sanding a bit of the blue to show the roost underneath. And this is the final result. I've added a beacon on the roof. It's also made out of a metal stud. I've painted the soft roof and I've done some roost effect and also the fog lights and the registration plates and a bit of detail. And this is the final result, a Volkswagen T1 bus with snow tracks, and also the diorama. Don't forget to watch the other videos from the Fantastic Invitational. And it's time to go now, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button or subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.